Okay, so here's the second example I promised you. And uh, in this you can see it's only slightly more difficult than the previous one we did. Uh, but I'm sure you're still thinking this is so easy. Please just go on with it. Okay, so I will. So here we go. What we're trying to do is to solve for x, but it's a linear inequality, which is the only thing we need to remember is that when we multiply with a negative, our sign has to swap around. That's the only difference other than solving linear equations. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to decide which side do we want our x's on, and it doesn't matter, I'm just going to choose this side. So what I'm going to do on the left hand side is I'm going to just get rid of the x's on, sorry, on the right hand side. On the right hand side I'm going to just add this 14x. I'm going to add it on the right hand side. On the left hand side I'm also just going to add the 14x. So that what I do on the left, I do on the right. Now on the left hand side I want to get rid of the constant. So I'm just going to subtract this 12 and I have to also subtract it on the other side okay and then what do I get so I've got negative 8 x's plus 14 x's gives me 6 x's these obviously cancel because plus 12 minus 12 is 0 my sign doesn't change even though I've added a positive and I've subtracted or added also a negative I haven't multiplied with a negative remember only multiplication or division of a negative number swaps the sign I haven't done that at this point. On the right hand side, I see I've gotten rid of my x's now. I've got 14, I've, I'm owing 14, and now I own 14, so I actually have none left. So negative 12, negative 12 gives me the negative 24. Now what I do is I divide both sides with a 6. Now since I'm dividing with a positive number, I'm dividing with 6, I'm not dividing with a negative number, okay, I am dividing a negative number. So it doesn't mean my sign swaps around because I'm just dividing both sides with a 6. So my sign doesn't swap around at all, so I've got x is less than 24 divided by 6 is 4, but it's a negative, so it's negative 4 is my solution. Okay, so any x smaller than negative 4, the left hand side would be smaller than the right hand side. Let, let me show you that this is actually true. Let's choose any number smaller than negative 4. Let's go for negative 5. Okay, that's smaller than negative 4. If I place negative 5 into x, I get negative 8 times negative 5, which gives me neg uh, positive 40. Plus 12 is equal to 52. Now let's put in negative 5 in here. Negative 5 times 14 gives me positive 70. Positive 70 minus 12 gives me Six, uh, 58. Is 52 smaller than 58? Yes it is. Now you can go and if you don't believe me try any number smaller than negative 4 and you'll see if you place it in the right hand side and in the left hand side the left hand side will be smaller than the right hand side. Will it work for 4? Negative 4 I mean. Will it work for negative 4? Well if we put negative 4 in here we'll get that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So negative 4 is not included because we don't want the left hand side smaller or equal to, just smaller than. So this would be the solution if it was equal to, but it's not equal to, it is smaller than. So um, if I had to draw my solution, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, negative 1, negative 2, 0, negative 1, negative 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, and I am using all of the numbers smaller than, oh, sorry, wait, I did it wrong. Okay, it should be negative 4, not 4. So this is, let's make this negative 4, negative 5, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. Let's number it like that. I want all of the numbers that are smaller than negative 4. So negative 4 not included, so an open dot. Everything smaller than that looks like this. If I had to write this in interval notation, 
The smallest number it can take is negative infinity. It's heading towards negative infinity. The largest number it can take, or not really, but the largest number is negative 4, but it's not included. So it's not allowed to be negative 4. That's it for me, from me for now. Um, and uh, I hope this demonstrated to you the basics of linear inequalities and that you will feel comfortable solving any linear inequality coming your way. Good luck and enjoy.